everyone, welcome back to my channel. That's what you love. It's me, Drithi. In today's video, we are doing the 10-year challenge and my journey on the ketogenic diet. In a 100% true and honest way, this is going to be like a chit-chat session. I do want to mention that this video is divided into two parts. So the 10-year challenge is the first part. My journey on the ketogenic diet is the second part. You can call this my weight loss journey, but uh, it's been separate terms of my life. So without any further ado, let's get into this video and I hope you'll enjoy and I hope it helps. If it does, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button below and also give this video a big thumbs up. Now let's get into it. Okay, so here is a picture of me uh, 10 years ago. I was a chubby kid. Some of it is my genes, my eating habits, but I think most of it is the vada pav in Jamna Bai. If you're from Mumbai and you've tried the vada pav from Jamna Bai Narsi school, then leave it in the comments below because if you haven't tried that, you haven't tried vada pav like i still i still have dreams of it <laughs> it's like my guilty pleasure i loved it so much i used to eat four a day uh, at a time in school the epitome of my unhealthiness that's how it started off till 10th grade i was quite chubby and most of my weight was on my stomach till date whenever i put on i only put on on my stomach mostly i lost around 30 kgs after my 10th grade and this was a big change for my entire life you know this was the biggest change i had made up my mind that after my board exams i will get time so i didn't really stress much when i was in 10th grade i used to just eat that vada pav because i still believe till date we have one life to live and if you are craving that food just eat it that could probably be the last meal of your life <laughs> that was a little intense I used to be around 79 kgs. Spoiler alert, this is not a video in which I'm going to say I did that all without exercise and some crazy diet. No, it was the traditional method of exercising. <laughs> Spend like two hours in the gym as much as I remember. Yeah, there was two, two and a half hours. Fitness experts are going to argue that's not how you do it, but that's how I did it. And that was the only thing that worked. So what happens is when you do drag yourself to the gym, after your gym session you feel that positive energy because you feel like your body is lighter you sweat so much that all the toxins really come out of your body your skin starts glowing your hair gets better your overall health gets better you just feel so positive so yeah it sucks going to the gym i still hate going to the gym i struggle but i believe that nothing can replace exercising no diet in this world so once you do drag yourself to the gym even for those 20 minutes or half an hour, it is going to automatically change the way you eat throughout the day. When I'm doing those push-ups or you know, I'm running and dying on the treadmill, I used to curse the food. So I used to literally wonder, why did I do this to myself? I'm never going to eat that again or something like that, you know? So you automatically feel like eating healthy. That was one major shift that happened in my life. So that's where gymming really, really helped because it kept my metabolism going for so much time without me having to gym so even while sitting i would be burning fat uh not have like a strict strict crazy diet back then i used to just you know cut all the junk food out of my daily routine and maybe i would eat pizza once in two weeks sometimes you know uh, and I used to feel like eating less of those things because I used to realize how hard it is to work out and burn that. So my diet would be um, wake up in the morning, have lots of water. Sometimes I would add lemon in it. Sometimes I would have lemon and honey in it. After that, I would have multigrain bread and two eggs and I would go to the gym because I needed some energy. I, I cannot work on an empty stomach. I'm just like, Ugh in the morning you know i used to couple that with some black coffee i started loving black coffee and that really boosts up your metabolism after that i'd go to the gym uh, on my you know off days after college this would be my routine one day cardio one day weights one day cardio one day weights around uh, four to five times a week lunch used to go like uh, one roti bhaji dahi and that's it back in india that was my meal in the evening i would snack on maybe poha or something like that and for dinner i used to have again one roti bhaji and dahi sometimes skip the roti and have a lot of dal 
and dahi that was my indian meal plan when i used to lose weight and that really worked the whole idea is to have a calorie deficit diet so uh, if women need around i don't know 2000 calories a day or something i used to cut mine down to 1200 calories in order to lose that weight and then to maintain it you can you know balance it out that was basically my journey how i went to this now i'll tell you the difference why i feel like even though i hate exercising i have to promote it it's because i must have gymed for a year i got into a relationship and everybody knows that when you get into a relationship it's all really comfy and you do put on weight okay it's like a fact i mean i am becoming chubby now <laughs> so i was in college i was really happy with my newly acquired body and i took it really lightly so i stopped gymming i started eating unhealthy i used to go out partying the next day was hangover day pizzas oh my god binging none of that affected my body till literally a year ago I don't know you can say 5 years after I stopped gymming last one year I put on that is a pretty good deal I can't even complain let's skip forward to 5 years later this is me now comes in the ketogenic diet the whole trend that came along kind of blew me away my biggest weakness is cheese it is not chocolate it's not rice it's none of it it is just cheese giving up cheese was really really hard on a diet so when i heard of the ketogenic diet that you have to have more fats and that's going to help you lose weight i was like it was really really cool i'm going to keep adding some clips over here of when i did my ketogenic diet the first time around i was back in india that time amazing keto pizza for breakfast i did purchase this device keto diet stick you basically have to pee on it and uh it shows you whether you are in ketosis what is your level of ketosis and all of that so that really helps to know what's going on inside your body so this is my test result gross but a good thing is that i am in ketosis i also accompanied it with exercising and i saw results definitely in a week i felt lighter the whole problem was that i read this quote somewhere a ketogenic diet is like a marriage if you cheat it won't work your body needs to get used to that ketogenic thing and that's when you're going to start losing fat but if you cheat in the middle of your diet it's sort of like starting from zero so every weekend i would go out break my ketogenic diet monday i would start again then i came to canada and i thought it'll be easier over here since i'm going to party less uh, i'm going to have more access to ketogenic foods because it's more of a trend here i feel this time around i stuck to it for a good 30 days on this diet you can break your 30 day keto once right in the middle so after you've completed like 2 weeks 50 14 15 days you can you know have one cheat meal as something known as the ketogenic fever that comes in the first 4 5 days depending on each person's different some people have chicken broth to avoid that for me i didn't really experience a lot of fever I, maybe like one day i would feel a little low the main thing about ketogenic diet again is to really track your macros i'm not going to go much into that because i think you rather watch some expert video if you want to get into that diet but it's supposed to be a high fat low carb medium protein diet that's what the slogan is for the ketogenic diet i'll put a list over here of all the things you can eat on the ketogenic diet and there's a video that i'll link below that can help you that help me if you're thinking of getting into it just to understand the whole macro part i used an app called my fitness pal that really helps because you can just add in your meal and it'll sort of tell you the calories on its own you don't have to like go on google and search how many calories is this ingredient this time around i did not pair my ketogenic diet with exercise so the 30 days that i did was without exercise and i wanted to see how it works alone because people say it works without exercise and i was like hmm that is interesting i was around 2 inches less from my waist here comes the butt Yes there is a very big but <laughs> a lot of the time the keto diet is advertised as a diet on which you can binge on cheese bacon and all of that that is so false thing is you have to maintain a calorie deficit you need to exercise in order to maintain that and by 
high fat diet they mean high good fat by good fat they mean avocados fish ghee all of that not those processed cheese and so that's what people get wrong at least from my experience i realized and i frequently watch a lot of youtube videos in which i saw a few celebrities talking about what they eat in a day who used to be overweight and they lost weight and literally 90% of them said the ketogenic diet is beep i kind of have to agree with them now looking back because first of all it is really difficult in a world of carbs to really just cut out carbs completely think about it on a daily basis as a normal human being you're not going to be home 24/7 being able to you know have your healthy meal sometimes you're going to be out and how much can you meal prep what if you're out college work throughout the day so it is an unrealistic diet i feel some will argue some will agree this is my opinion salad avocado fish these are all very normal dietary foods that you can have on any diet it's nothing so special that it's just a name you know ketogenic also on the internet when you watch these youtube videos about people who've lost weight on the ketogenic diet you will always notice that they do go to the gym so if you're anyway going to the gym why stress about you know calculating your macros and doing so much just eat clean and go to the gym regularly it may speed up your weight loss for sure but it's so much extra effort especially for someone who hates exercising who hates dieting all of that it's so much extra effort do i think it's worth the effort no have a balanced meal is what i believe in because that's the method i use to lose weight and gymming does the trick it keeps your metabolism running through the day and you're basically burning fat while just sitting down after the gym another reason why i will not try the ketogenic diet again is because i lost like i said 2 inches from my waist within the first one one and a half week of me going back to normal life boom all the weight i lost was back I have heard that it is water weight that comes on people who are promoting the ketogenic diet on Instagram and all of that and I'm literally back to what I used to be before I did the ketogenic diet. So the whole one month that I did so much for was but I won't completely blame that on the diet because I did go back to my pizza eating habits. Yes, you can say hi to my double chin. Fat thin skinny, I don't care. I know that however i am i am always happy with my body and if i'm not i work out and i make it fine i make myself feel fine so that's it so the minute i start getting a little overweight and i start feeling uncomfortable and my motivation comes automatically i don't pressure myself to look a certain way because i am comfortable with how i look and that's what is important i don't care about who calls me fat or if i've put on weight or i've lost weight or I don't really care. And I feel that's the attitude that a lot of us should have, especially the young people out there. My suggestion or my tips would be to like I said, hit the gym, gym thrice a week. That would be good enough uh, to start off with. In fact, a lot of people say that it's better than 5 days a week. 3 times is better. Uh do a lot of research. and just eat clean eat balanced meals eat home food more have a lot of water oh my god so that's how it works with me i gain it i enjoy i lose weight i enjoy it's like just keep enjoying in life you know i hope this video helps you all and i hope it creates a positive impact on you all i hope my keto experience explained to you all was helpful uh if it was leave a comment below let me know your thoughts and yeah i will see you all in my next video super soon Bye